Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to Map Making with me, Bon Bon B. I'm Bon Bon B. You're very, very welcome. And welcome back to Duvo, the provisional name for my second ever map build. It's coming along now. It's looking roughly as I had in the back of my head. <laughs> this is an area we were working on at the tail end of last week. The henge is all in place. I just want to um, get down some grass detailing here. There's a, a couple of other things I, I want to actually do um, after after the detailing of the grass. But um, yeah, just trying to decide which grass I want to use. Whether I want to do a few small tufts or some larger tufts. I've gone with the larger tufts. There we are. Right, so I have some stuff to report. Yeah, not stuff that I've said before either. <laughs> I know some of you tune in quite regularly and I'm saying the same things over and over and over and over again. It must be getting a little bit repetitive for some of you. Maybe. Maybe. But uh, yes, now, this week, remember I said there would be no map making. Because I was going to be a little bit busy putting together a, a special a special and it was going to be the Halloween special for 2018 last year I made the Halloween special and it was uh, like this bit I've said before <laughs> this bit I've said but not yeah people do miss episodes so I'll catch up uh, last year I did a Halloween special for City Skylines and it came out blinking well <laughs> okay. okay not perfect there were things I would go back and change but I think even James Cameron's finest work um, at the movies, at the flicks, yeah, he, he would probably go back and, and change some of his greatest work as well. So, uh, but it still it still came out much better than I expected. Now, this kind of gave me semi inspiration for uh, <laughs> I said semi, sorry, uh, gave me semi inspiration for uh, a a um, Halloween special for this year. I knew. I still have in my in the back of my, in my mind's eye what I would like to do this year. So anyway, uh, yesterday, as it is now for me today, um, Sunday, I'm I'm recording this very early on the Monday morning because I am, well, I'm rubbish at staying asleep basically. So um, anyway, uh, yesterday I decided to start work on it because I was uh, sufficiently ahead on what map that I could give up. Yeah. Well, enough time for a what map, you know, about three, three, four hours. So I spent a good few hours actually starting on it. Now, um, for this particular project, I needed a particular type of city. Now, I don't have a particular type of city that I've built because I don't do much city building. As you know, I'm too busy reviewing other people's map builds. So the first thing I thought was there's bound to be somewhere on the workshop a suitable city build so I spent well over an hour going through the workshop trying to find well map no sorry map city build save game that kind of from the thumbnail matched what I'm looking for oh my goodness me there is a lot of crap on the workshop isn't there <laughs> there is a lot of crap so anyway um, on, on the first page, I found what I thought would be a perfect city city build. So um, I subscribed to it, launched the game, and the city did not load. Now I'm guessing that there was some DLC that I didn't have. But the thing is, I have all the DLC. I, I don't understand. I have all the DLC. So then I figured, hang on a second, hang on. There is no one-click collection. Maybe I don't have the map. And that's probably it. Maybe I didn't actually have the map. So it didn't load. Darn it, I thought. Uh, so I tried again. And again. Um, the first three maps that I found, having spent probably on each one, I don't know, five or ten minutes looking through the workshop trying to find something that was even even closely matching, matching what I was looking for. Spent all that time, couldn't find a map that would work. Or load. 
Oh, here, this is, this, is, this is new, this is something I'm doing a bit different. I want to stop the problems permanently on, uh, on, the, uh, on the temple that's going inside the castle. And so I've, I went onto the workshop, and uh, this is a different story altogether, guys, now. <laughs> Keep up with me here. Um, I went on the workshop to find lots of small items that would fulfill the requirements for, um, for uh, the, the requirements. Because this, this road is not going to be connected. Um, I changed my mind with, with the uh, clarifier, by the way. Um, in a second, you'll see me delete that, and you'll go, what? Why? Um, because I had something smaller. <laughs> that will definitely fit underneath the temple there it is so yeah um, I went on the workshop found all these bits and we'll be putting them on this little small stretch of road and oh, we'll be using move it all on top of each other and I'm gonna uh, delete that that um, that's a uh, what's it called um, pipe connector thing if for something that I've just deleted <laughs> so uh, yes I use move it in the end to delete it there it's gone right Right, right, we're back, we're back on it, back in action. So yes, um, so the cunning plan is to provide the electricity, the sewage, the refuse collection, the uh, fire services, the death care, all of the things that, uh, that this particular um, asset that's not going to be connected to... Uh, yeah, I know there's mods you can use for this. I know there's mods, but I don't want people to have to require to use a specific mod, because if you use a mod, that's going to cause no problems for this is going to cause no problems for the rest of the city and um, well I don't want to tell you that you've got to do that I want you to be able to play this vanilla so I figured a few small mods a few small assets as a requirement hidden underneath the temple would indeed be uh, the way to go right so that's uh, anyway uh, I digress you'll see me move everything on back on top of the road now so it's within a road connection, all those little T's will disappear. There you go, disappeared now. And so it has a has a road connection. That goes over there. And the temple goes back on the top. So uh but did it did did it and you see all those little that warning signals will suddenly disappear. And it'll be a happy little temple. <laughs> uh, well I'm hoping they'll disappear. They will disappear. Anyway, yeah, where were we? Yes, so uh, I went back onto the... Ah, uh, oh, look at so, so tidy. Like that. Yeah, I guess i go back and do a little bit more work to that. But hey, where were we? Where were we? We were talking about... So, oh, we were talking about the workshop. So yes, um, so I spent ages um, trying a map. It not loading, because obviously there was stuff missing. And people don't put a one-click collection up. Very frustrating. Finally, though, finally I got it. Um, I, I found the map. The map. And, well, then, having found the map, there was the things I wanted to do with the map. I don't want to give too many spoilers for the actual, uh, for the in case the video ever were to happen. But uh, I wanted to um, basically uh, blow up parts of the power network. Oh, this didn't work, by the way, putting electricity under the water. It just got wet. So uh, in the end, uh, this was a bit of a waste of time. Um, I'm going to let people do their own electricity connection to the bridges. I know I could um, put a, uh, um, uh, a wind turbine up here somewhere, but uh, no, I'm going to leave this completely to the discretion of the of the builder. Uh, right, by the way, yeah, um, cities. Uh, oh yes, yeah. So I found the perfect city, and I wanted to disconnect the electricity step by step. By step so different sections of the power network would disappear one section at a time Do you think I could get this to happen do you think so I don't know where their power was coming from I, d I don't know um, I thought maybe I had no pro no problems mod sorted I thought I had the no abandonment mod sorted uh, the things that I, I was basically trying to kill the city in blocks and it would it die no, it wouldn't die. I don't know. In the end, I went for one of my old city builds that was the closest to what I was needing. And to be honest with you, I was I, di I really didn't want to use it. It wasn't the aesthetic that I was looking for for the game. And um, I, I couldn't get that to die either. It's literally almost like I have a, a no problems, no abandonment 
um, mods running. And I guarantee you, well, I did no abandonment mods. I don't have a, a no problems mod. As you can see from all the um, the warning signals that was uh, popping up <laughs> over the top of the um, over the top of the temple there. Um, yeah, I don't have those mods. I, I I have the no abandonment mod, but only for asset world, which um, I made sure was deactivated. But I couldn't get the city to die. I switched off the electricity uh, and the water for, well, it, it was days and days and days and nobody left. Not a single person left. And I needed a dead or a dying city because, oh yeah, Halloween, horror. So in the end, I decided, no, that is it. I, I can't be doing, after, this was three to four hours of trying to find the perfect map, in the end going with my own map, and then the map not dying. I, I, I couldn't give up any three it was a good three to four hours I couldn't give up any more of my time for something that wasn't even well I was no further progressed after that amount of time than I was before so I decided the thing to do the thing to do was come back and do some more map building at least that's something constructive uh, we are every time I do one small change on this map we're one step closer towards having the finished map and being able to crack on with the new series because I want to crack on with the new series um, this a lot of this will probably be changing anyway this is this is more placeholders for inspirational purposes you know um, sand sand banks and sand walls and stuff like that under the surface of the water um, it's more to inspire me and also, it's also because I haven't decided what trees and bushes and things to use actually on the land. So I wanted to um, spend a lot more time um, actually deciding what combination of trees and bushes and whatever I, I wish to use to add the variation to the forests and that is going to come it is going to come you're probably going to see me doing the selection process actually being recorded as well um, and that's almost certainly going to be this week because i getting to the point now yes i've still got to do trees on the mainland which will probably be tomorrow <laughs> and probably the next day as well because there's a lot of work needs doing but uh, once that has been done it's then adding the variation and then well once the trees and the variation are done a little bit of light terraform work because there are some areas that are just a little bit a little bit boring and the coasts the coasts are poor the coasts are very poor at the moment so i've got all that to do um what else have i got to do this are oh, so much needs doing but in terms of yeah feature areas i've got a couple of feature areas that need doing that um i would probably suggest um one of them is half an episode long <laughs> literally just half an episode if i can't if i can't do it in in um well, these episodes recorded in half an hour. If I can't do the feature area in about 15 minutes, I don't know what's wrong with me. I, I, probably, probably just useless. <laughs> probably just rubbish. So anyway, that's that's to come. Uh, what else is to come? Uh, the second feature area. What was the second feature area? Oh, the second feature area. That'll probably be a good episode. A good episode. But I've got to... Um, I've got to do some other stuff first. I can't just crack in there and do that straight off the bat. There's other stuff that needs to be done first as well. So anyway, yes, um, uh, sand underwater sands, so that you're starting to get a feel for this area. Um, but it's a guide, and we'll have to come back and do more work to this. Also, um, the resource painting. I know somebody suggested a little while ago Got to make sure all the resources are on this for the new DLC. Oh god, yes, of course, yes, of course, yes. Yeah, you didn't think I was going to forget that. I'm going to be using that. Yeah, it's, I won't be using it for field painting. Be please know the fields, if they are painted, it will be fertile. <laughs> That's the thing. Um, it's going to be a lot of fertile land on this map, but I'm going to make sure that we have got the ore and the oil as well. Because, well, what's the point of going to all this effort and them not putting the resources in? 
but yes, I've got to um, do a lot of undersea work. And this is the first of the undersea work that I've done. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's coming. It's yeah, I'm getting com confident that this whole map is starting to come together. And uh, every single day, I can move a couple of those trees off the beach. I'm not happy. Oh, there you go. I moved the beach off the trees. <laughs> So I just saw that. I, I forgot that I actually did that. Yeah, the the um the beach encroached a little bit more up the um up the hill there than I intended to when I was just randomly sand brushing there. But uh, that's a lot better like that. Right. Okay. How how are we thinking? Are we thinking? Yeah, it's starting to look all right. Is it? Is it starting to look all right? I think so. <laughs> anyway, join me tomorrow. I will do another map making for tomorrow and uh, hopefully one for every day this week as I'm not going to do any work to the Halloween. I might as well make the best of the time that I've got available. And why not get this map finished? Ooh, might even be the Halloween map. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching and have a great day now.